Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron and in this video we're going to be doing an inbox review of Eddard's new kit release, um, Good Morning Denang of the F4B Phantom. Um, now before I get started with this inbox review, I just want to say that it's going to be a short inbox review because I've already done an inbox review of this kit uh, because this kit is inside here the actual um, stirring plastic side of things is the Academy kit which was released in 2013 I've done an inbox review of it it's up on the Genesis Models website um, under the inbox review section so go look at the Academy 148 scale um, F4B Phantom there and you'll get a, a more in-depth inbox review of the um, the actual kit that's inside here but I'm doing this inbox review because Eddard's changed a few little things so I'm just going to focus on things that have been changed now this is March 2014 it's just been released as well this kit is about um, hold on I will just check it's about 50 eight pounds I think it is no fifty six pounds seventy from Hanans. Hanans is always gonna be you know the top paying top dollar basically so anywhere else you could probably get a little bit cheaper so let's have a quick look um, you know what you get in the kit before I've even done any um, unwrapping or anything like that so well first off the box art does look rather nice you do see on the side which you know this is a big box so you know, forgive the the focus and everything but well, we've got five lovely uh, markings going on here on the side and then on this side of the box it shows you all these aftermarket parts which is the difference between uh, um, Academy kit and Eddard's rebox of the Academy kit that just added a load of nice stuff so first off um, we've got a bunch of uh, separately bagged sprues um, we've got the canopy section going on in here um, We've got some like um, flaps and tail area separately bagged. Two little, uh, a little sprue in here with a, a medium-sized sprue in there. Uh, we've got another bag here which has uh, three sprues all together, different sizes. And in here, you know, we've got exhausts and ejector seats, those kind of things. Um, we've got another bag here with two sprues in there which are um, duplicates. We've got three full bombs, fuel tanks, uh, two pilots uh, in here as well. Moving along, we've got this uh, separately bagged fuselage section here which is what makes our Tamiya, uh, sorry not Tamiya, which makes this um, um, Academy um, stroke rebox of Eddard different to the Hazagui. The Hazagui is two fuselage section halves coming together, whereas with this, the, the thing is a, a complete hole. But again, you know, go look at the inbox view of the Academy F4. B 148 scale. We've got our wing sections here. Um, again, we've got two sprues in here. So it's about two tops three sprues per bag. Um, load of lovely um, um, kind of air to air missiles going on here. Two sprues duplicated. Cool thing about this kit over the Hazagui is you know you get tons of weapons. Hazagui, not so many. You kind of have to buy their. Um, their um, add-ons of weapons which ends up spending more one big sprue here with no sections a uh, cockpit a uh, bit of the air intakes um, all in one sprue there we've got two no sections here so I mean you know this is a kit that they intend to kind of probably go through the different versions of the F4 uh, again more fuel tanks with this one um, one sprue separately bagged uh, a few bits and bobs here some probes Right, now all that there, all that plastic that I've just shown you, that is the Academy kit. That is what I did the inbox review of, right? So all that there, you can go view that. Um, so let's kind of just keep this inbox review nice and quick by just showing what our um, Eddard has done. So quickly having a look before I get it all out and unbox it. Um, We've got a first little um, bag here. Um, we've got um, canopy masks, wheel masks. We've got the new um, fabric um, seat belts and stuff. So that'll be interesting to look at. We have another little bag here, which has got quite a nice sized bit of photo etch here, which is all sorts of things like exhaust, interior, a bit of exterior going on there. Turn it over and then we've got a load more photo etch 
um, coloured photo etch for um, the cockpit section. So nice bit of uh, uh, aftermarket parts there. We have here. I do believe it looks like there's about two massive sheets of decals here. They are printed by cartographer and I do believe both of them are, but we'll have a look in a bit. Absolutely fantastic decals here, fantastic five different markings. So um, that really is a big one over the Academy kit and all this photo etch. Uh, the instructions, you've got um, the instructions uh, of Eddard, their instructions are fantastic. Uh, with the whole colour coordinations and everything going on in there. Uh, we'll, we'll skip through that a bit better. Um, but what you're probably more interested in is like um, the markings. You know, we've got Jolly Rogers, and as I say, it goes through like a good five nice squadrons there. Um, then you have this little box going on in here. And in here we have a nice load of resin, which as you can see we've got a bag for our exhaust going on there, we've got a bag for our um, ejector seats, all nicely resin, and some resin wheels. So, there you go, um, we're going to just now unbag all this, um, I'm going to have a good research, a good look at it, and let you know um, what I think of the... Um, Eddard added extra side of it, not what um, we've already done a review of, of all that stirring plastic that we have just here, which is, as I say, already done a review of. So let's get started um, by having a look at what Eddard has done. Now, Eddard, you know, nice instructions from Eddard, as usual with everybody, um, nice little introduction. Eddard's instructions are always nice, quality, satin paper, uh, nicely in colour, and then even the instructions, again, you know, Eddard instructions, fantastic, nicely coloured, what you've got to do, um, different colours, i.e. red, chop it off, wear it glues in blue, all these kind of things, fantastic set of instructions. We've got a lot going on um, in the cockpit area, um, the cockpit was uh, a nice above average kit, uh, cockpit really f from um, Academy, but um, with all this photo etch, with all the, the, the resin um, um, ejector seats, it just turns the cockpit into something really fantastic and you get some great fantastic pilots with this kit as well um, as well as I think you get like one pilot standing outside it as well so I mean you get all that as an optional extra as well. Um, moving along with the instructions, you know, it does. It will tell you where all the photo etch and the resin goes and how to put the resin in and all this kind of stuff, which is uh, uh, rather nice. But the instructions are, you know, top-notch Eddard instructions, really. The options with this kit, you know, we do have um, flaps up and down. Uh, the B version didn't have slats, which is kind of like one of the noticeable differences between like the B and the E. Um, you know, we got air brakes and the weapons, I mean, fantastic. Lots of options for different weapons, different types, fuel tanks. Tells you where to put your, um, um, your, your, your cutout masks as well for your canopy, your wheels, um, lots of nice detail. It even shows you a bit of scratch building for your for your um, ejector seat as well. Um, you know, it is just bagged full of. Um, lots of advanced stuff that we can do here with photo etch, which this kit is probably going to be someone um, advanced. We've got the different weapons layers out, and then we've got all these fantastic uh, markings here, five of them, which just really gives you these nice options. Eddard are just fantastic for giving you loads and loads of um, different marking options, and as you can see, nice F4s going on there, as well as a absolute um, Decla's nightmare of massive amounts of stencils because these phantoms they had stencils absolutely everywhere and it looks like um, Eddard are giving you all those decals to really go to town hopefully as you can see masses of masses amounts of decals going on there uh, so instructions you know top-notch decals um, printed by cartographer, we know they're going to work fantastic with uh, Microsol and Set. We've got two massive decal sheets, 
as you can see this big like A4 sized um, decal sheet here we are full of tons of these tiny little um, stencils that go all over there for Phantom which would make it look fantastic but it probably take you a couple of days to do um, nicely in registry nicely colorful um, I'm not seeing any problems with them they're looking like satin almost glossy cartographer no problems as I say uh, that's decal sheet one uh, decal sheet two holds all the markings and it's just exactly the same as the first decal sheet cartographer nicely in registry nicely colorful um, satin to glossy kind of finish looks absolutely fantastic no problems top marks there um, what Eddard adds um, first bit here let's just get them out these are the new um, fabric seat belts um, that they've started to release um, they do look rather nice they feel rather nice but the whole idea is because they're fabric they're supposed to look um, more realistic they they sit better sit more realistically um, so I mean to be honest with you, I've not tried them they are kind of like something new Eddard's bringing out so it would be nice to kind of um, have a go at these one day um, so it might be interesting to check them out but they do look rather nice um, so be interested to check them out uh, we've got some um, uh, mass cutouts here both for wheels and uh, canopies um, so they look rather nice but they're kind of pretty standard um, we've also got a nice couple of de um, photo etch frets here as well so let's let's get these out first fret here not um, pre-painted um, we've got all sorts of things going on here like for our exhaust bits of air intake going on there around the canopy part um, cockpit detail you know all nicely in there nice big fret there to really put some nice detail going on and then of course we have photo etch um, Eddard's famous kind of um, pre-painted photo etch here which is going to be all our cockpit detail uh, we have some um, ejector seat detail going on in here and little bits and bobs going on in and around the cockpit that there combined with um, all our other bits that we get in the kit the cockpit is going to look fantastic uh, still sticking with the cockpit we have these um, resin ejector seats let's just pop these out um, hopefully as you can see they look fantastic as you would expect for any kind of top-notch uh, resin going on there looking very nice as you can see I'll just put them out the way two nice ejector seats there then we have our resin exhausts lots of different pieces going on here um, as you can see hopefully maybe not quite hopefully but um, you know we've got some nice detail going on inside there um, and our bottom part as well looking rather nice and then the bit that we all we see mostly our top part here that is looking nice both inside and on the outside very nice top detail again top marks for our exhaust and then we have also some nice resin wheels to go with that as well and they also look really nice hopefully as you can see we've even got raised lettering on the actual tire as well which also sets it off rather nice and so there you have it as I say you know this inbox review um, is on the website um, for the academy kit for all the plastic side of things um, and hopefully you agree it does look like a very nice kit I know I did say in that inbox review I was a bit kind of skeptical about the whole raised panel lines and recessed panel lines being a bit too fine a bit too thin um, I still feel that kind of seem a little bit 
too fine but from what I've seen on the internet of what everyone else has done um, I've seen that it looks like there's no problems with getting a wash to take to the recess panel lines and the recess rivets so that doesn't look like a problem at all um, now this particular kit costs um, I did say it was £56.70 from Hanance um, and it's about £30 to buy the Academy kit without all these nice added extras um, so you're talking about £26 ish um, to basically have all these added extras and I do think it is um, very much worth it because the decals are you know um, I think a lot better you know they're nicely cartographer and you get so many more nicer markings to be honest with you than what you you get with the um, the Academy kit and then to add all this lovely um, cockpit detail exhaust detail um, all this photo etch you know I mean all this would probably cost you how much on its own um, but what I do I have noticed is whenever Eddard does these um, limited edition runs of you know a rebox kit and then they throw all this stuff in there is that if you give it a bit of time the price comes down from that 56 pounds um 60 was it um, and they do come down rather nicely and you can really pick yourself up a bargain because they can get um you know that could get to like 30 40 pounds with all this stuff in there so it is something that is i do think a fantastic bargain um now when it comes around to score for this particular kit uh, we ended up getting the best score so far for inbox reviews here at genesis models and the score i gave it wherever i've put my scoring sheet was a nice 8.9 and it was just like a couple of slight little points away from almost being a 9 um, now it scored highly on pretty much everything notably the decals um, the canopy was ra uh, rather good the options the decals as I say the exhaust the cockpit detail you know high marks going on there as I say it's the highest marking score for Genesis models now an 8.9 um, for Genesis models scoring system is it's um, between 8 an 8.9 is an above average kit right so this is nicely well above average top in the above average mark uh, making it a kit that you know is going to go together fantastically it's going to be highly detailed you're not going to really have any problems it's going to be a really above average kit to put together um, and as i say it was one point away from being a nine and a nine goes into that excellence bracket and anything nine nine upwards here at genesis models to between nine and ten is absolutely excellent and it is um you know going on in that kind of perfect excellence can't really grumble at all with it um so as you can see top top marks there excellent kit great value um, and I hope you've enjoyed this inbox review and hopefully it's been beneficial for you hopefully you're going to go out and get this kit me personally I've been really wanting to do an F4 Phantom some point here at Genesis Models um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this anytime soon but I do I will do one one day so um, hopefully you've enjoyed that inbox review my name is Bobby Waldron and this is Genesis Models <laughs>